All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for part two, day two, of this Jeep exterior overhaul extravaganza. I've got all my holes gooped up, and all the Bondo is hardened now, so today's going to be about shaving it all down. Got a nice solid repair there. One more hole going into the cab. Um, all right, so I got to get the Bondo knocked down. I got to see if it, any of the areas need any more Bondo. And then once it's all straight, we're going to just start uh, masking this thing up. Uh, we are going to put uh, Leap Master Coat Pro, my... Uh, my top dog ceramic coating, we're going to put it on all the wheels. That's actually going to change the appearance of the wheels a little bit. It's going to make them a little bit clearer, uh, a little bit blacker. And that's what we're, we're looking for. I mean, these are obviously used wheels and all the things, but we're going to make them look a little bit better than that. But first order of business is getting all of these, all the globs sanded down and see how flat we can get it. I, I shouldn't have to go super perfect. Uh, because we're spraying on textured infinity liner so it's going to hide a lot of the imperfections but i want to get it done as smooth and as nice as we can so that's the plan and so i'm going to get right to work and we'll bring you back when i got more done all right i got all the body work done everything looks great everything's flat and smooth and looking awesome got the lovely tony over here working on some masking so now while she's masking, I'm going to start wiping down and then I'll help her with the rest of the masking. But I got everything is smooth, looking good. And we're going to we're going to mask it all up and then spray on some textured black infinity liner. So it's all scuffed with 40 grit. Body work's done. Super smooth, nice transition right here. Got everything shaved, looking good. Super smooth. Yeah, buddy. Got the hood all scuffed. Also doing the door jams. So all that was scuffed. Um, that POR 15 Seam sealer works awesome. I mean, it literally looks like a weld that was painted. Looks great. So I'm very happy with that. Seams are all sealed. Everything's tight. There's no open areas that look funny. You got these areas straight where that's all smooth. I do have to drill that hole out. That's for his brake light. I had accidentally filled in these two holes as well, but I got that out. So everything is smooth. Uh, this big dent is gone. I mean, it's this whole piece was kind of wonky, a little ripply, but it's pretty smooth. There's no big dent in there anymore. And this one's completely gone. So that's good. I got all that body work done in the fender wells. All those seams sealed as well. Looks great. I love that stuff. It worked out really well. I even sealed in there and all the way around this thing. <clears throat> that transition looks a lot better. It just had a massive gap there that looked funny and my client didn't like it. I didn't like it. So, well, the biggest thing was this right here didn't line up at all. It was a massive gap right there. So screw it. We filled it in. Good to go. Deleted those uh, or shaved those bolt, bolt holes. He's going to have a hard time, huh, babe, if uh, he tries to pull this thing apart. <laughs> With no bolt holes. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to not waste any more time. I'm going to give the interior one more blowout before we cover the interior with plastic. 
and then tape it all off where we can't get back to it till we're done. I'm hoping to get to be able to uh, spray this thing today. So we'll see how that goes. I'll check back with you when, we've, when we got more done. All right, guys, I am dirty, I am tired, but I am not done. So if you don't realize it, when you mask a car up, you don't want to leave the tape on too long, especially if you didn't use fancy good tape. And I am burning up the last bit of some cheap tape before I start using the 3M stuff, like, exclusively. So anyway, uh, I have taped this Jeep up. Let me show it to you. It is all ready to get sprayed. Well, I got to solvent wipe it to remove any oils and that kind of thing. And I got a couple places I've got to spray some primer, like right there. But it is all taped up. We literally, I just spent two hours after Tony left uh, masking and we have been masking, man, since probably 1230. So it is almost four. So it's about four hours worth of masking right here. It's going to take me probably a couple hours to shoot it all. And uh, probably another 30 minutes of prep or so. So. I'm hoping to get out of here before 8. It is 4 p.m. right now. So anyway, uh, I am going to be spraying the bottom, the underside of the hood, so it's all scuffed. Um, the engine bay is all covered. I put a little screw and a little hole up there where I can get around it with this board that's propping the hood up. And then, as you can see, all the bodywork is done, looks great. I just have to prime a couple spots and then I can get busy. I'm very happy with how this repair turned out. It's solid and now there's no hole in the cab. All right, well, she's all done. Jams are all back masked and all the things. Um, I'm going to put some tape in these holes so that the threads don't get loaded down, but she's ready to go. Top of the hood's all ready to go. I just got to wipe everything down now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out the acetone and give this thing a wipe, and then uh, I guess I'll bring her back right before I spray. All right. Next step achieved. I went around and all the bare bare metal spots. I um, what did I do? <laughs> I wiped all the bare bare metal spots down with 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol, and then I walked around it with a can of primer, and I primed all the spots that had bare metal and that I put bondo on. So now I'm going to give that about 20 minutes to kick. I am, I am out of refreshments, so I'm going to run to the store while this primer does its thing, and then whenever I get back, I'm going to give everything a solvent wipe and prep for paint. So everything that was bare metal or bondoed got primer. I, mean, I already said that, but I just wanted to document it on the video the video all right stay tuned for the next step all right i'm getting all the uh external parts primed up so i got those straight i got everything on the jeep done I'm going to spray. I'm probably not going to finish this thing today just because it's taking forever. But I am going to wipe this down with alcohol again. And I will be spraying that. So I'm going to let all that dry. And I'll bring you back whenever we get to spraying some liner. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This thing is about three quarters of the way done. It is 10 o'clock p.m. I have been working on this truck all day. 
All day. All day. <laughs> uh, let me show it to you. All right, so this is where we're at today. Um, I still need to hit the exterior with the Infinity Liner Clear. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and use VersaCoat 13. Um, I think it'll be a great test for the product to go straight over the Infinity Liner. I do have clear Infinity Liner, but I just want to test it going on the black Infinity Liner. Just... Just need to test it. Anyway, so all of the fender wells. The jams. Ah, I need to pull this off. I'm actually going out of town for a few days and I want it not to stick to the masking, so I took all the key parts off. But it really looks great. Super happy with how it came out. There's that repair, you'd never know it was there. I even did the bottom of that piece right there you're looking at on both sides that that rock guard look at my transition right there how smooth and delightful all my body work is fantastic no dent there anymore no dent there anymore no bolt holes none of that drama All right, well, so that's it for that. Um, I got these brackets done. Uh, I'm leaving for four days. I'll be back Monday to get this done. Today's Thursday. Um, I got to do the backsides of these still. But the fronts look great. These were peeling real bad. They were powder coated in a texture and they were peeling really bad. So I did my best to get them to where they weren't peeling anymore and then sanded, primed, all of that. This is the cowl piece. I sanded the best I could on that one. You can still see some of the defects. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit those, that cowl. I think the grill's done. I'm not gonna do anything with that. That looks awesome. Uh, but this is the tailgate. I still got to get the edges a little bit better um, and then probably do a full coat on both sides next week. Looks good. I just, I want to put a little bit more material on there and I need to get the, I, um, it's, the gun started splattering and I got a little bit of a glob on the outside. So I want to give it a nice solid dusting. Um, so that's where that piece goes. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna hit this p the tailgate, the cow, and these brackets. I'm gonna hit those again uh, next week and then put them on the car. And that's it. So this has been uh, part two. Stay tuned for part three. And uh, part three is going to be, I got a, mask the parts that I pulled back. I gotta mask those back up and then all the exterior, not the fender wells, but all of the exterior is getting uh, some pretty cool chameleon pearls, a very dark version of a chameleon. But uh, we're gonna do that in part three. So thanks for watching guys. Check out part three.